Many people with Alzheimer's disease repeat themselves. It's a common symptom and it can be frustrating for caregivers. What if we were to listen to what Alzheimer's patients repeat? What could we learn from this? How might this help us better understand what's going on inside the brain of a person with Alzheimer's? At the Geriatric Medicine Research Unit, we believe it's important to listen to patients and their families. By letting people describe their experiences to us, we often discover new insights or areas that need more study. As part of the VISTA study, we listened to 130 Alzheimer's patients and their caregivers talk about their experience with this disease and areas where they would like to see a change. One of the most common and troubling symptoms many mentioned was repetitive talk. This can include repeated questions, stories, statements, or words. Many expressed hope that Alzheimer's treatment would reduce repetitive speech. But up until now, we knew very little about exactly what form repetitive speech takes in the everyday life of patients. The VISTA study was not designed primarily to collect information about repetitive talk. But many brought it up as important, so we took a second look at the data. We collected all the discussion about repetitive talk. Here is what we learned. Of the 130 patients in the VISTA study, 100 were described as having a problem with repetitive talk. 57 set reducing repetition as a goal for treatment. From what the 100 patients and caregivers told us, we found four main categories of repetition. Repetitive questions, repetitive statements or stories, repetitive talk around a topic, and repetitive words. More than three quarters of the patients in our sample repeated questions. Most common were questions about events in the recent past, questions about details of known upcoming events, questions about unknown or generic upcoming events, questions about the current time or date, and questions about the location of items. 32 of the 100 patients repeated statements or stories, usually about things that happened recently, things that happened in the distant past, and things that were ongoing at the time of the repetition. Six of the 100 patients talked repetitively around a topic. This means that they might not say the same thing over and over, but they would repeatedly talk about the same subject or topic, something that might be on their mind. Two of the 100 patients repeated single words. In both cases, this appeared to be part of a difficulty they had with overall communication such as having trouble coming up with a word in a sentence. We also looked at the interval between repetitions and the consistency of the problem from day to day. Of the 100 patients who repeated themselves, 65 would repeat themselves within two hours or less. Most of the patients who repeated in this short time span were repeating questions. 52 of the 100 patients were reported to repeat themselves consistently meaning the repetition occurred on a regular basis, not sporadically. So what can we take from these results? Until now, no one has captured descriptive details of repetitive talk. Previous work suggests that repeating questions and repeating statements or stories involve different brain activities. So researchers often divide repetitive talk into two categories, repeating questions and repeating statements or stories. We believe this to be generally true. But our work suggests that layers of complexity within those two categories have been overlooked. For example, within the category of repetitive questions, many patients repeated questions about past events, but many also repeated questions about future events. The brain deals with information about the past differently than information about the future, so we believe it is not as simple as one problem for repetitive questions and another for repetitive stories. Understanding the content of repetitive speech gives us important clues to the nature of the problem. In other words, what's going on in the brain when people repeat themselves? Where do we go from here? It seems clear to us that this common and troubling symptom deserves further investigation. At the Geriatric Medicine Research Unit, we plan to carry out a pilot project to begin collecting this information in a systematic fashion. We are also sharing our understanding of the problem with people who work with Alzheimer's patients in the community. We hope to help care providers understand why patients may be repeating themselves and how best to deal with this symptom when it appears. 
This report joins others from our group in seeking to understand the experience of Alzheimer's disease by listening to the patients and caregivers. Their descriptions can help us create better measures of change in patients undergoing treatment. For more information about this or any other research at the Geriatric Medicine Research Unit, please follow the link on your screen.